Joyce is in the demise of someone else, in my eyes, is a very sad individual. Whether it's over jealousy, envy, the tall poppy syndrome that is alive and well in New Zealand, or just a plain, outright mean spirit, but it doesn't make for a happier world for sure. Some small-minded people, for whatever reason, love to delight in pulling someone else down. Maybe it makes them feel better. But whether it's the media or others being judge and jury with people they don't even really know. But people delight in throwing stones, particularly from a distance. To be clear, and I mean social media, but to be clear also, in relation to the attack on the church and on pastors, there's often an antichrist spirit working. This has been around for 2,000 years. In fact, people have endeavored to pull down and destroy God's people since day one. For those who know their Bible, the list is long. I mean, you have Haman in Esther's day, Sambalat and Tobiah in Nehemiah's day, to name a few. In the New Testament, you had people named by Paul who brought the church into disreproach and attacked the church. And so for Pastor John and Gillian of Arise Church, due to the orchestrated media attack on them, now they have resigned. I ask you, did they commit some gross sin like adultery? Did they run off with the church's money? No. What Arise built in 20 years was a God thing. Anyone who knows or is involved in church, particularly here in New Zealand, would have to acknowledge that to see the thousands saved that they saw. For unless he builds a house, we labor in vain. And to achieve what John and Gillian achieved, one would have to be naive not to acknowledge God's hand on them and on Arise. So some interns got worked too hard. Some people got hurt. Can I just say that any high achiever, unfortunately, by their own sheer giftings and drive, run over a few people along the way. That is not to justify or excuse it, but to bring some common sense to it. You know, as pastors, we hate to see people get hurt, obviously. I mentioned before, there could be things that seem to have crossed the line. But as John and Gillian laid out so humbly, it was a long time ago, and they were younger and naive. They've sincerely apologized for being extreme and extremely sorry for any hurt caused by them to others, as we all do as pastors. And they clearly state that in 2016, they changed the culture dramatically to ensure things would be better. So what does the Hamans and the Sanballats and the Tobias want blood? It seems... For those who have not watched the extremely sad, sincere, heartfelt resignation of Joel and Gillian, I encourage you to. But New Zealand is far worse off for this casualty. You know, the saddest words are what might have been. And John and Gillian and Arise were making a huge positive difference in thousands of people's lives. In my opinion, they had nothing to resign over. But this is a path they have chosen, and I, for one, will support their choice. You know, we know others like Bishop Brian, and now we see Pastor Murray Watkinson of Celebration Center in the church under attack in the media even today while I'm recording this for differing reasons, of course. But Brian and Murray are of an older generation with thicker skin, and they'll outlive their critics. Their congregations are now more robust, having been through it all before. And I know John and Gillian are younger and softer and have been devastated. And I, for one, would not want to be in the shoes of those who've caused this downfall or who have supported it. Look and read what happened to Haman and Sambalat and Tobiah after being sent a screenshot of what one journalist wrote on his blog on rejoicing with expletives on the fall of John and Gillian. You know what spirit is behind it. And I'm extremely sad for them. Also, in reading what some Christians wrote in support of that, it saddens me further. I believe we can all do better. Let's pray for the church. Let's pray for pastors. And let's pray also for our enemies.